Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I recently took first place in the Cats and Nightcatchers here on Fishing Planet. And I just want to show you uh, kind of how I did it. And uh, I've been working on this for a while. And I kind of went in this with a strategy of uh, starting with uh, a crankbait. And then I was going to go to a float. And just try to mix it up between baits and uh, lures. But I'm just going to kind of show you here uh, what I'm doing and why. Okay, again, any of you guys that aren't familiar with my channel, basically what I kind of like to do, I'll alternate between Twitch and a straight retrieve on a crankbait. Sometimes I'll just get it on a Twitch. Uh, that's just simply reeling and twitching or, or just cranking it in. But a lot of times uh, you'll see me around on my channel where I'm fishing for sharks or anything like that. Again, I think it's the, the rising uh, um, of the crankbait that actually entices uh, the bite a little bit better on a lot of the fish on here. As you can see, I pull in this 64-pound uh, unique um, again. I'm just kind of dist demonstrating this. Uh, I'm reeling, I'm letting it float up, reeling, letting it float up. And it's again, it's that rising action that usually kind of gets the, the, the fish to bite a little quicker. Uh, that's, in my opinion, I think they've, Fishing Planet's kind of nailed this in regards to even like fishing for bass and stuff in real life. Again, so just demonstrating that over and over. Uh, just letting that r hit the bottom, come back up, hit the bottom, come back up. Also, strategy-wise, when I first started playing this, I love using lures so much, but it does really take, I think, a mix to keep the score going in this, and here's why I kind of want my strategy again going in was I'm trying to target the bigger fish with the crankbait, so I'll try to get my trophies and maybe a couple unis if I get really lucky, uh, and that's kind of what my strategy was. Now, in the past, I would have just fished the whole thing with the crankbait and up around 170, 180 points, and then I'd just kind of plateau. Uh, not to mention, and the key note on this one here, uh, this is a really big fish, uh, so it's, you know, I'm, I'm fishing with the salmon monster, so that's, you know, uh, eating up a lot of clock as well when you could use a bigger rod later on. But again, I'm just trying to target a couple big fish, uh, like I said, one, two unis, maybe two, three trophies. And then from there, I'm just going to, uh, you know, farm out as many points as I can just to keep a steady bite, keep rotating that sort of thing. And I'll kind of explain some other things as I go along. Okay, so also here's the, the setups that are used. You guys feel free to pause and kind of look through that if that helps you. Now, I, now I'm going to a float rod. I do, drop it down to 83 inches. Um, you know, probably 80 to 90 would probably be good, but I, I went ahead and set this at 83 this time. Okay, now kind of at this moment too, kind of pay attention. Uh, you kind of want to know how to quick set. And again, an upcoming clip, just kind of watch and see how I'm timing things out. You, you know, once that bobber starts to go under... Uh, you don't sit and wait for the fish animation. Just simply lift your rod tip up and be ready to reel. See, also, that, you know, from a distance, again, kind of thinking about the strategy, uh, what can happen, in a, not only if you just use the crankbaits the whole time when I first started playing in this, is you're going to get so many blocker fish where you can use bait and you can kind of isolate yourself out a little bit better. Um, and I think to sometimes, in my opinion, I think you can get to, uh, you know, the, the trophies in the uni is a little better with your, with your crankbaits. You know, your, your glow crank, 6-0. Uh, your X-Series, if you do have those, or even the Stars and Spangled uh, 5.0 that you guys probably just picked up recently during the uh, 4th of July event. But again, just pay, pay close attention as uh, I sit here and wait for a bite, and uh, you'll see that uh, you, know, you just got to make sure your timing's spot on as well. And again, to kind of keep your, your bite, you know, your bite fresh, you want to, don't sit at a spot too long, you know, always be rotating when it makes sense to. And that's kind of those gut decisions you got to make, you know, you guys have probably played enough of these by now that are watching this, but uh, just trying to help you guys out. And again, I've went into this much detail 
uh, showing you my run because not only am I proud of myself, but I'm also proud of a lot of people that's been uh, helping out on the channel, helping one another because uh, you guys know as well as I do, it's always nice to see somebody else up there on the leaderboard. And I hope you appreciate me uh, sharing my knowledge. Now, on this upcoming clip, you'll see where I make a big mistake, and this is actually pretty funny. This might be a mistake, boys. Oh, fudge! Did I have Flora on? Okay, moving on after my debacle, I put the, uh, I, was, I was stuck with my floor, I thought I had a mono later on, but long story short, if you notice here, I pick up even three more, so I, following along, I've used crankbait, I used the float, and I've even got my line clip there, but I did one click down, I, I meant to have mono on, I had floor on, just a, uh, almost a new mistake at this point, but uh, nonetheless, I was still able to pull out the victory. Uh, and I, you know, I've worked on this one quite a bit. This is probably the eighth or ninth time I've played in it now. And, uh, it was finally good to see that my hard work has paid off. And, uh, again, I hope you appreciate me sharing this and I hope to truly hope this helps somebody out, uh, and get better at this one. And I hope to see you guys up on the leaderboard.